two shoes. I have a whole pair of shoes. <coughs> yeah, that's what I was Okay. So I looked at scale today, and all kinds of things came up. Scale from a fish or a snake. Uh, Lady Justice with the blindfold, she holds up the scales, it's like for weighing things. Um, there's musical scales. So scale is one of those words that has a lot of different definitions. And so that's why we're going with map scale, because it has to do with um, distances. Okay? So last week, when we, uh, when we were drawing this up, you know, get out of the way, we kind of drew this kind of landmass. Remember I drew the little teeny cities by the by the water. We talked about how you know city that cities are located next to rivers. And then I don't remember who it was, but someone was like, how do you draw a bridge on here? And it's just like, well you don't. Okay, was that you? Okay, cool. That was a great segue though, or or to move us into talking about scale and then zooming in. So this little box right here is a zoom in of what I have right here. Uh, remember last week when I was saying, go ahead and draw like a box around what you're drawing? So this right here, that box right there would be similar to this box right here. This one might, this box might be a little bit smaller. It might be like that type thing. But you kind of get the idea, this box right here equals this box here. But we're like, okay, but what's the distances between these? And that's where we're going to talk about map scale. Scale is it's it's going to sound backwards to you when when I describe it. So a small scale. Let me ask you this. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the world. Okay. I got it right in my hand. Right here. I got the whole world right in my hand. You guys have heard the song? <laughs> Yeah. I got the whole world in my hand. You've heard yeah. that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have it right here. It's in my hand. You could do a handstand and say, okay, I got the whole world in my hand, but that's okay. That's besides the point. Scale-wise, is this a small scale, a medium scale, or a large scale? Small. Who said? Go ahead. Small. It is. If, so you have the world and it's small, okay? Uh, that's what this, that's how the scale is. Instead of, you, you think of the world being something really large, but it's the other way around. So what would be a large scale? Maybe like a 12 foot tall one. A 12 foot tall world? Yeah, it could be. No, that would still be small. Large scale would be uh, drawing up this school. Okay? So you're taking something that's still large, but not large like, like this. So, for example, um, I don't want you guys to write this down. Okay. Uh, do I have that right or do I have it wrong? I have it totally wrong. Small. We leave medium. I totally screwed up. Okay, this is small. Small scale is large areas like the world, a planet, your oceans. Uh, medium scale would be uh, your states, uh, small countries, and then large scale would be anything from the city down to like a residential home or piece of property. Okay. Now I'll go through and I'll explain these to you. So, really small. Okay. Map scale, the world, or the solar system would be small scale. I'm holding the sun, the moon, the earth in my hands. Um, so a large scale? No, actually, so I want you to think about the reason people draw maps is, it, is everything comes back to us in relationships so that we as humans 
can use them to our benefit. So if I'm gonna draw like this classroom, but if I drew this classroom to real size, how much paper would that take? And then all, and it's, so a one-to-one -one ratio is not a good map to draw. You're just, you're, there's really no benefit to it, okay? And so you're saying ratio, so that's like, that's a, that's that fraction, it's a comparison. Right. A one-to-one -one means exactly the same size. Correct. <clears throat> Um, so that's another, that's another word is uh, ratio, uh, and that's how you relate different sizes, okay? One of the things I want you guys to do is everybody pull out a scale. And I got some fancy scales here, but I want you all to pull out a, a ruler, sorry, ruler, if you have them. I want you to draw a little bit of a coast, and I want you to draw a river. It doesn't have to be this shape. You can make the river come this way. You can make the coast over here. But then draw in a couple bridges across your river, and then just start drawing in some little boxes that would indicate, like, buildings and stuff. Okay? Yeah, I want you to just... And so this is drawing a map of a city. Okay? But I want everybody to write down ratio. Um, so ratio... The same size is one to one, or one to one. <clears throat> um, but like I said, he's that's... Got a dot in there. So he's showing, those are two different ways to write a ratio. So it's like a colon, put so one colon one, or you can use the word two, one to one. Right here, a medium scale would be the state of Montana. This is a, a medium sized scale, all right? And then a smaller or a large scale would be like the size of Livingston, like a city. Now, I I had some I had kind of a fun time today. I was I was looking up different type things, and so you could generally say that for the most part, cities are going to be on the large scale, but there are some cities that probably border on medium scale. Take Los Angeles, for example, okay? Los Angeles is the second largest city population-wise in the United States. I didn't get the population, but the city limits of Los Angeles are 503 square miles. Does anybody know how many square miles Livingston is? Close. A little bit more. Five? It's six. So Livingston is six square miles. Square right. So the, the one that you drew last week, Put a square in. you know, if you've got a, a like a river or something, do a little square and then draw a city that's, that's related to your map that you drew last week. These types of scales, you can see that they have the, they've got three sides, but each side Basically, I have six scales that I can choose from. There is a, a metric scale, and then the other is an architectural scale. There's the engineering scale that I've used the most, and it's one inch equals 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. And that's the one we're going to talk about most today. That's the one that we're going to apply to these maps. Okay? On this map of Montana, Right here in the bottom, where the legend is, it says horizontal scale, which is, you know, this way. <coughs> One inch equals approximately 26 miles, okay? So, one inch with your ruler is 26 miles, all right? Which is kind of an odd size scale. It's nice to use, in my opinion, a scale that is... 1 to 10, 1 to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, um, 70 you don't use, 80 you don't use, 90 you don't use, but then you start getting into 1 inch is 100, 1 inch is 200, 300, 500, 1 inch is 1,000. Uh, so like when you look at this right here, I've got a 50 scale. You could say 1 inch is 50 feet, or 1 inch is 500 feet, or 1 inch is 5,000 feet. So you just kind of do, you just add some zeros to it and you multiply it. This map that we drew the other day, let's say the distance from this coast 
to these mountains is 50 miles. I think they don't understand that that square is that square blown up. Does that confuse you guys with no. this? Is no. this square and this square no, are the I, same? I, 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 okay, so you guys need to make a square in the last Wednesday, a little square, and then you're going to make a bigger, right, a bigger one to show. So you're like zooming in, so you can see all the right. detail. And it's it's just like it's just like this. Even though it's zooming in, it seems like it's zooming out. So this right here, you would like draw like a window like this, yeah, like that, that. Nice. and it's like it's so you would. go behind this type thing. So it's like this right here, you take a magnifying glass and you look at it and you're like, oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, and then you got like these little teeny dots. Maybe the little dots are people, or maybe they're cars. I was just talking about the different types of views in, in drawing. And the ones that, the one that we're looking at the most is, is the plan view or bird's eye view where you're looking straight down at your object. The big map that, that I drew here is, is it's, let's, we're gonna just say it's one inch equals about 10 miles, okay? This right here, a one inch equals 500 feet, okay? So do you guys know the difference between the, the you know, when, I, when I put a two and then two tick marks, do you know what that means? Inches. Great, and then the, if the, the 500 with the one tick, feet. feet. These are both considered large scale. I want you to at least be aware that scale is, the reason we have scale is so that we know, hey, I want to drive to Salt Lake this weekend. How far is it from Livingston to Salt Lake, Utah? And we know by how many miles there are and how fast roughly you have to go, how many stops. You, and the reason we have scale is so that we can figure out how long it takes us to get from one point to the next. And also it help, helps us figure out how to build and construct things. They, they would never know if you drew this school up, how to build this, how much it would cost if it wasn't drawn to scale because they couldn't figure out the materials needed to build this. Each other. <clears throat> Correct. And then that's where you get surveyors involved, and then they say, okay, this is where this property corner is, this is where the proposed building needs to be started to be built, parking lots, sidewalks, uh, and then when you get the architects, you start getting into the interior of the building, how the hallways are going to be laid out, the bathrooms. I mean, everything's designed down to the size of the desks that they're going to buy, to your bathroom stalls, to the cafeteria, to all that stuff. Check out these incredibly detailed city maps that these kids drew up. I'm, again, incredibly impressed by the detail, the accuracy, and the fact that they actually drew one inch equals 10 feet or one inch is 50 feet. Again, incredibly smart brilliant fifth grade kids.